Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Power Rush. It's really simple. You can be any person as long as it's on the UNSC. I like Captain Cutter though because, well, he's better at the end. Okay, first you just build heavy supply or just supply, 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 then just send your warhog to get supplies. After you get 400, upgrade your fortress and build another supply pad when that gets there. And I'm sorry that I'm cutting so much because I just don't want to. Then you build a reactor and and another and build a warhawk just to hold like a ghost off or something, which are really annoying. By the time here, I just I built two so far, and you have to at 500 build another reactor. It doesn't matter where they are. You know, the most important part about this rush is to send your vehicle out for supplies. And after you build your reactor, always uh, try to upgrade the chain gun or whatever is on the warhog. I don't really care what it's called. After that, build a, uh, if they're Covenant, build a vehicle depot and train Scorpions, or if they're um, UNSC, build an air pad. I say you build Scorpions because it's a little quicker, because, it, so that if it's Covenant, they can, it's not as quick as a rush, but it'll hold off their weeder, because the only thing to destroy something is many, destroy their weeder is many flamethrowers, or just three tanks. Right here, just being me attacked by ghosts, which is really annoying. And send the Warhawks out to get supplies. Most people say, like, if you have Hornets, if you're making Hornets, just build uh, five Hornets. But Scorpions, you only need three to hold off no weeder attack. And build another heavy supply pad after you, after you train your first Hornet slash Scorpion. Since this is Wad Gulch, I'll be using the teleporters, just telling you that. And pretty much, I think I only trained three scorpions, so just try to get the money, and I should have made some turrets, because this isn't usually, it's not a very fast rush if you use scorpions, so it's more of a turtle if, if they're covenant, because most covenant would just rush. I have no idea why I'm just destroying this base. I guess I was bored. But um it does help destroy if you're gonna destroy a base for veterancy, only destroy the turret or turrets of what some people call it. Destroy all the turrets, then the marines. And I was just too lazy to destroy the rest. Cause I'm playing on only heroic, I think. But it works in legendary. Okay, I'm not going to be skipping a lot, just telling you now, because I had to get the video under 10 minutes and I didn't want to bore you to death. And there's that ghost again. Wow. Yeah, as I said, I'm just going to be using the teleporters because it's a little quicker. I should have used the side teleporters, but... It's just as good. But I end up getting attacked. Because, well, almost every Covenant rushes, like I said. Even the AIs. And I kind of got unlucky this time because usually... The only reason I build... The reason we make Warhogs is so... So to hold off any air attacks. For... Um, ground ground units or if you're making coordinates and make sure to always use a disruption bomb though when you're facing them because they'll still take down some of your warhogs <coughs> oh if you have like any ground units 
assign the warhogs to the air and the tanks to any ground units that are, might be attacking you. <coughs> I was trying to heal. Uh, the most important part of this rush is to stay consistent. Like while you're attacking their base, if you you want to keep making units because if you stop making units and you lose, they'll come back. And uh, looks like they made a base, trying to get all the territory they can. Oh yeah, at the end, the only reason I use Catch and Cutter is because the ODST usually can destroy the reactors or warehouses just by planting one down every time the other one dies. Just a little cheap tactic I use. And like I said, just keep making the scorp just keep supplying the scorpions and warhogs. I know there's no music, but because I'm using my Mac and I'm using Fusion with this, I'm using Windows XP, so I can't. I'm not using the Windows Movie Maker 2 to make this. I would be using Vegas, but I'm just too lazy to get on my Mac. I get it on my Mac. And like I said, I'm just getting what they're just getting lucky that ends up being uh air units. Oh, like I said, it's best to be cash and cutter, but for like the tutorial, it'd be a little, the rush is a little quicker if you use uh, Forge, which is the reason I used Forge in this video. But if they use Forge, if you do use Forge, you kind of do have to effect, expect some air units that are going to be making, because whenever you use Forge, they always expect you to make tanks, which kind of throws them off if they're UNSC and you make hornets. But never ever make, you can like use tanks on UNSC, but never ever make aircraft with, um, with the Covenant because they, their leader will destroy you. Simplest way to say that. <coughs> and here's a little skip that's just about to happen, so keep supplying the Scorpions and after the battle ends, I'm just gonna skip the frame because I want to make it a little shorter Oh, yeah, the reason The only reason I'm usually I'm usually using Vegas, but Like I said, I'm too lazy to get on my Mac and I still have to make the Grassy Spartan logo and we'll be making out a new montage on The mont we're gonna be making a montage and I'm gonna be starring as usually and not montage. Uh the name of like it's gonna be kinda like Red vs. Blue, but it's not the same tutorial. We'll see ya.